Big news guys, we're getting a third spec for the Evoker in WoW and I'm super curious about this spec. It's apparently called Augmentation and is that a tank spec I wonder? But yeah, let's have a look at it. In patch 10.1.5, Evokers are finally getting a third specialization. Finally, at long last, Evokers might be interesting to play as. <laughs> Quick shout out though, before we soar into the new spec, want to give a special mention to Zygor, this channel's sponsor. Zygor. If you're looking for the ultimate World of Warcraft guide add-on, whether you're looking to level faster, make more gold, farm achievements, collect mounts, whatever, Zygor's got you covered. Link down below in the description. Check them out, guys. Ever since the launch of World of Warcraft Dragonflight, players have been confused as to why Blizzard has not given Evokers a third spec to play as. We um, have we forgotten about Demon Hunter? Where's the third Demon Hunter spec? I still want a third spec for my Demon Hunter, please. Like, that's unfair, yeah, right? Like, Evokers are getting it. What about the Demon Hunter? Please give us uh, maybe healing spec or something. Spec to play as. We have a healing <coughs> spec. We have a DPS spec. But, no but what spec. about a tank spec, for example? Why can't we have another tank class in the game? And this has been a heavily requested feature ever since the beginning of Dragonfly. Well, I'm happy to announce that we are getting a new spec for Evokers, but unfortunately, it's another damage spec. Uh, However, it does look me. pretty interesting, and I think you're about to see why. No. So the spec is called Augmentation. Yeah, now, this augmentation. is a spec that's themed after the magics of the Bronze and the Black Dragonflight. And lore-wise, no. it has been unlocked, to my understanding, because of our meddlings in Aberus, the raid. And it sort of has given to the Evokers these new powers and stuff. I'm just going to read okay, through this, and then we're just going to talk a little bit about it. So, Emberthal and Abyssian have been working together to release the Black Dragonflight essence that has been siphoned from the Drakthir during their long stasis, unlocking memory and powers forgotten to them. Emberthal is that one black dragon lady that's in all the cinematics that nobody knows the name of, and Abyssian is the cool Tauren guy. The point is, they were- You know what's funny about Emberthal? I thought I was a dude at the beginning, probably because of the name, because Emberthal sounds kind of male, right? And also like, yeah, from look wise, like, I don't know, is this like female or male? <laughs> and then Emberthal, but Emberthal is OP black dragon lady that's in all the cinematics that nobody knows the name of, and Abyssian is the cool Tauren guy. The point is, oh, they yeah. were messing around with the magics and Avarice, and they Tauren. unlocked a new spec for the Evokers. Unfortunately, Emberthal and Abyssian didn't realize that we need more tanks in this game, so we got another damage spec. Yeah. But that's okay. Augmentation is a new damage dealer role with a twist. They use the essence of the black and bronze dragon flights to amplify Ooh, the abilities of nearby flight. allies. Playstyle is about empowering your allies, giving them effects, whatever. So it's a support and they also DPS. deal damage in a very unique way. They act as force multipliers, increasing their group's capabilities and damage output significantly. It's literally what a damn bard class should be. But anyway, let's, yeah. let's keep going. Pretty much you're either going to be buffing your whole party or specific party so members. Good and many of these have smart or proximity based automatic targeting, enabling you to maintain focus on the battlefield and enemy selection blah 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 just off of that alone i think that sounds really cool listen i am an absolute freak a freak of nature all right i am one of those people that actually likes playing a paladin in molten core where i do absolutely <laughs> nothing other than okay. stand in the background and periodically rebuff people that to me is fun does that make any sense absolutely not but it's enjoyable to me because I'm strange. So this yeah, sounds awesome. Just chilling in the back, buffing people and whatnot. I like it. They're going to be spending essence. They've got mobility. They can. I have a good example uh, of something kind of like this from another MMO. And we are looking now at Final Fantasy XIV, for example. And there's the Astrologian, right? And with with it, like you're a healer as an astrologian, but you have those cards you can give to freaking players and it buffs them. And I think this is so cool if you have this kind of uh, also class, right? It's like more for like, sure, you're either like a healer or DPS as a main role, but as a side role, you still have the support capabilities like you have on the astrologian in Final Fantasy 14, where you give cards to group members and they get buffed. Um, Right now, the only kind of support sort of role you have for DPS is, for example, if you look at like the Shaman, you can also look at the Hunter with like Bloodlust, for example, right, that you can give to other players. 
But besides that, you don't have so many classes that really give something unique to groups, right? You kind of could say, is Druid, does, does Druid have some sort of support thingies? I mean, even as a DPS, you could give some side healing kind of, right? But besides that, I only see like really any classes that have access to Bloodlust being some sort of support DPS sort of hybrid, right? But yeah, with augmentation, we're finally getting something that does have like other skills than just Bloodlust that can help the group. That's no, that's nice. Like, yeah, I, I like that. And by the way, guys, if you're new to this channel, please don't forget to hit that subscribe button for more content. Yeah, let's look further into it and see what else it does. I want to look at like more of those animations. I think this earthquake kind of skill looks cool there, but let's see what else it has. Since they've got mobility, maybe they I would can change from evoke spells, like, like this big I would change rock explosion. Like bam! Look at that yeah, thing, earthquake. dude. The power of black and bronze. Damn. So let's look at some of the abilities that these assholes are going to have. Ebon Might is a 1.5 second cast. It increases the four nearest allies primary stat by a percentage of your own stat oh. and causes your eruption. That's this big explosion up here, I'm assuming to deal more damage for 10 seconds. Some of your other spells extend the duration of these effects. Isn't eruption, to be two second cast. My girlfriend knows all about that. Cause a violent eruption beneath an enemy's feet. You deal some volcanic damage. It also increases your ebon might effect or whatever. Upheaval. You gather some power. You send them up in the air. That's pretty neat. And then finally, we got this magic breath power. Fly to the target location, exposing temporal wounds on the What's enemies that? for 10 seconds. Guess from the bronze flight. They accumulate a portion of damage dealt by your allies and then critically strike the enemy for that amount at the end of the duration. Increases oh. the duration of your active ebb and might things. Here's a cool picture of their talent tree. We also get these passives, Draconic Attunement. Um, that was too fast for me. Let's go back. I want to have a look at this talent tree thing. He just... It just skipped over. Oh, wait. Ah, I was there. Why did I misclick? Uh, here it is. Okay. Interesting, interesting. So, yeah, we get some fascinating skills later on here as well. Okay. I see how it is. Okay, interesting. We're going to have, like, maybe another time a deeper look at this and read through what every single one does. I mean, I will review this new spec anyway. I do have a... Uh, evoker it's on devastation i have not tried the healer spec yet to be honest because i always view the evoker as a more aggressive sort of a class right so i didn't think about playing as a healer but i've heard healers even fun so yeah uh, i have to like look at the two specs i haven't tried yet the new one augmentation i still need to look at, at the healer spec for their talent tree we also get these passives draconic attunements so you can either be a black or bronze dragonflight attuned evoker if oh. you're black attuned then the four nearest allies get increased maximum health if you're bronze attuned then your four nearest allies get more movement Ah, the black speed. one wins. They also got blistering scales. Like, Protect sure. an ally with explosive dragon scales. Increase their armor by a percentage of your own. Melee attacks against them cause a scale to explode, dealing volcanic damage. Whoa. AKA thorns from classic WoW yeah. with more explosions. And finally, <laughs> the so Wormstone. Conjure a pair of worm stones one for your target ally and for yourself a worm stone can be activated wow. by the bearer to transport them to the other worm stone location if they are in 100 yards i don't think i actually think this if you are a smart player the bestow uh, worm stones they can be interesting for some uh, boss mechanics right for how many can you make them Oh, it's just a pair one of your targets and one for yourself so so you want to maybe put this on like a tank maybe even like a healer uh, or if you have like one person you group that's like less experienced and you can save them sometimes but yeah you don't want to have this kind of person in, in your group too often right where you need to freaking save them with this but yeah like maybe like there are some mechanics where as a tank you need to get out of stuff at times right and yeah like dps of course they're gonna react faster because they can be more flexible but I can see this being helpful in some mechanics, maybe for even tanks, right? Where a tank needs to step out of something and then they can use that. Interesting. Like, I, I have not seen so many of the animations, only like this earthquake was really shown. I'm like wondering how those kind of stuff like look like, like how do the weird stones look like or the scales? Like, I wonder if this makes 
maybe people that have that on look also different sort of like maybe they have some some glow effect or something i don't know in 100 yards i don't think that this spec looks amazing unless they really expand on the whole like augmenting allies thing okay it's like i a mean yeah it's cool and all that you can you know buff some people and increase their stats but I would love it if you could do a lot more than that, even some flavorful abilities like, okay, more yeah, you stuff can also. increase their health regen, their mana regen and stuff. But what if you could even get some abilities like, oh, people doing professions standing near you, they craft gear faster or something, even like little <laughs> flavorful things like they would that abuse that might shit. make the spec a little bit more interesting. I am happy, though, that Blizzard is giving us the third spec for the evokers. I don't play an evoker, but I know a lot of you guys play evokers. I play so one. I mean, you know, more power to you guys. I'm, I hope you guys are happy. For me personally, I would play an evoker more, but I really would love it if there was a tank spec. Like you play as a yeah, big me buff too. version of a drac theory. You got fun. like a big old a pole tank. arm or something. Kind of like the dragonkins from like classic WoW that stood outside of Anixia's lair. Those yeah. guys. So that's it, fellas. What do you guys think about the new spec? Him. And thanks for watching. I actually think it's still cool that we get a third spec. This is something I would have always wished for for the Demon Hunter that Blizzard has forgotten about. Will we ever get a third spec for the freaking Demon Hunter? It's such a cool class. I know I'm not biased, but I freaking love Demon Hunter. I think like oh, the animations, they look so cool. The way they look and how they are like one of the existing races, but they are sort of changed. Kind of like with the Death Knights, right? You can also pick an existing race and they get like some reskin and stuff because of their class. No, but seriously, I, I want to see a third Demon Hunter spec as well. If they can do this to Evokers, though, there's hope that we ever get one. But yeah, about um, the augmentation spec. I have two fears about this, okay? So my first fear is this is going to be a must-have in groups where now other class specs that were sort of still like somewhat viable are no more viable and since for example in m plus you have anyway a smaller group right then now it's maybe a must have especially for some higher keys maybe because there are perhaps some multipliers with augmentation and the group buffs that are just so insanely good that you always want to have at least one augmentation uh, evoker with you so i fear for the spot of one of of, of the class uh, classes or specs that you bring to m plus right so will this be too much of a meta that's one of my fears taking always one spot make it like necessary even maybe for some higher keys maybe for some rates of course uh, i don't know like that the balancing issue is here because it's the only sort of true support uh class spec that i've seen so far in wow like i said we just have like bloodlust really right and you always want to have usually one of those that have it, right? And now not only there's like must-have for Bloodlust, now you want Augmentation also as a must-have. Uh, I don't know how I feel about that. And now my second fear is that this is a spec that sucks and it will be just so far behind Devastation and maybe it won't be as good, right? Like that's also something that Nixium pointed out here that it does stuff but it doesn't do much besides that, right? So... Can you even, like, how is it in PvP? Probably it's like useless, right? Like, what if you're doing battlegrounds? In duels, it's probably gonna suck, right? So if you like 1v1 scenarios in PvP, I don't think you would want to be an augmentation uh, evoker. For group fights in PvP, does this do much? Is it good? I don't know. From a PvP perspective, I don't see how it is useful. PvE, I see it maybe as a must have for some keys, some maybe raids. But we will see about that. I, I wonder how Blizzard is going to balance this. But yeah, what do you guys think about the augmentation evoker? Do you guys like it? Do you want to play one? I'll definitely try it out and see how it is since I already have an evoker. Let's see, let's see. But yeah, feel free to share your feedback, your thoughts on this and what you think. I will try it and see if it's broken. Probably it is broken. It's like how it's always is with like new stuff that comes to like MMOs. Like Evoker is also pretty OP with, with uh, Devastation already. So I wonder how if Augmentation can keep up. They are definitely aiming at finding some sort of balance with the other DPS spec. So I wonder how they go about it. But yeah, if you guys enjoyed this video, please don't forget to give this one a thumbs up. 
and I will see you guys next time.